I hear from pyrotechnic guys all the time that seem to think that the way we make antique muzzle loading propellant is completely ridiculous. And one of the things they say often is your, your milling time is absurd. You don't need to mill your powder for 24 hours. That's ridiculous. Four to six hours tops. Now, when we started making black powder five or six years ago, we went by that rule because that's what all of these guys said. And I don't mean to pick on pyrotechnic guys. Not all of them seem to think this way, but most of them seem to. So that was what we were doing was four or six hours. And we found that that is a fine way to make really lousy black powder. And it wasn't until we started milling it for eight and even 10 or 12 hours when we started getting decent results. Now, a couple of years ago when we switched from lead to brass media, we found in order to get the same velocity as we were getting with the lead media, we had to mill it for at least 12 to 24 hours. We generally mill our stuff for 24 hours. It's an even number and it seems to do well enough. But I figured we'd do a test on mill time. And so what we did is we used some bamboo charcoal. Now, we did a video on bamboo a couple weeks ago, and if anybody watched that, you might remember that it was very, very clean, but it did not make good velocity. So combined, I would call it mediocre powder at best. It was clean, it was consistent, but not very powerful. I think it ran right at 1540. So what we did here is we used the same charcoal made in the pyrolysizer, that's our electric kiln that we make charcoal in. But we milled it for 72 hours instead of the typical 24 hours. Other than that, everything is the same. Even the charcoal and the nitrate came from the same batch. Only difference is it's milled for 72 hours instead of 24. It's compressed to a density of 1.75 grams per cubic centimeter. It's 50 grains of 3F size run in my Kibler Southern Mountain Rifle with a 440 Hornady swaged round ball and a 20,000th pillow ticking patch, and all of the shots are primed with the same powder they are charged with. So here's how the long mill bamboo powder went. So this is bamboo again. But this stuff was milled for 72 hours, which is three times as long as we would mill it normally. And we'll see if we get any increase in performance. So here's shot number one. Seventeen thirty-six. I don't know if I believe that though. That seems awful bitching. I. I, uh, uh, we're shooting 50 grains. I, uh, yeah, 50 grains. Whoa. And I know it's bamboo. I just, I could tell by how it looks. It looks so gray. Oh, yeah, I know. So. That charcoal is just so dense. There's so little volume. Wow, dude, I'm going to be. Yeah, uh, let's, let's. Yeah, let's. Let's not get. Ahead of ourselves, yeah. yes. Oh, man, that's got to be an outlier. It might be. I'm going to be really, really impressed if it if it isn't, though. Well, if, I've, if I remember right, when we did the bamboo the first time, it was 1550 or 15. It was in the 15s. Mid 15s. I don't think it got above 15. I don't think it I don't think it got into 16. That would be really interesting if that's it? If that's accurate. Well, shot number two with the long mill bamboo. 1728. Wow, dude. All right, well, let's get at least four shots. No way. Yeah, one of the things we noticed about the bamboo is how incredibly dense it is compared to, well, certainly compared to balsa. balsa. Yeah. 
but dense compared to a lot of things, really. Yeah, even to to ERC or cottonwood or, or, or willow. Pacific willow, it's it seems pretty dense. It's like usually that's like just over one of those twelve ounce cups that we use. And yeah. that was like half of one of those. That, that oh, it was less is, than half. Is it really? Yeah. It's just stupid dense charcoal. So there's not a lot of volume to mill. Right, which doesn't matter really because you, you 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 do it by weight mm -hmm. and you press it to a particular density. So it doesn't matter what the what the density of your charcoal is. It really is just kind of a gauge on how well things usually do or don't perform yeah so here's shot number three with the long mill bamboo seventeen oh eight so what potentially two hundred feet per second by tripling the mill time well I don't mean to uh be critical of other folks, but I've heard for years from pyrotechnic guys that you don't have to mill your powder for more than four hours, six at the absolute most. We heard that for years. Oh yeah. Years. And, and I remember that's that's how we That's how we started. And and we would we would kick our own ass because it's just like everyone says that your powder is fine. You don't need to go over eight hours. And that's how we kind of got stuck up at first with, we need to find a way to mill our stuff super fast, you know? And once we realized that it's like, yeah, th that's for pyrotechnic shit. Yeah, I, and I was really concerned in the old days with making it as fast as possible. Yeah. I want to be done in eight or 10 hours. Well, I think one of the reasons why, the way I looked at it is because everyone else on the interwebs, now I wasn't paying attention to the fact that they're using their stuff for fireworks. Right is saying that, you know, you you know, four to six hours, you know, no more than eight. Anyone that mills their powder longer than eight hours is just wasting their time. Yeah, and, that, and that's that's exactly what they say. Yeah. And I've heard that a thousand times, that anything over six is a complete waste of time. You yeah. get nothing out of it. So here's shot number four with the long mill bamboo. 1738. <laughs> Okay, let's... Wow. Let me just confirm that you got this out of the... It bamboo. is. It's the long... I, I even took a video of it before we started. Yep, bamboo, 72 hours. Yeah. Wow. So, um, should I up it, what, five grains? Because if if we wanted to match Swiss or Alder or, or Cottonelle or, or whatever, we'd only have to come up five or seven grains, I bet you. Oh. We're all right. We're, we're, we're probably 1730. I see where you're going with that. Okay, so yeah, to see if we can match Swiss. Yeah, bring it up five grains. All right. Bring it up five. Seventeen eighty one, which is right there with that... Alder Buckthorn and Swiss. Wow. The moral of the story is there's no such thing as milling your powder too long. Yeah because this stuff is the same charcoal, it's the same nitrate, yep. made out of the same batch that we refined. Yep. Everything is the same, except the mill. We compress it to the same density, 1.75 grams per cubic centimeter. It's 3F, sifted with the same micron yep. bag. Everything is the same, but we milled it for three times as long and we picked up 200 feet per second. That's wild. All right, let's swap it. Let's see how clean it is. Yeah. That is a huge improvement. That is, that is massive. That is huge. Yeah. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You cannot mill your powder for too long. There's no such thing as milling your powder for too long. And all that, that we heard from those guys back in the old, and I still hear this every once in a while. Yeah. I had a guy tell me the other day, he, he was he was a nice guy, uh, because a lot of the pyrotechnic guys think that we are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. They think we go way overboard. Mm -hmm. But I had this guy tell me that, you know, well, I make powder and I only mill my stuff for six hours and it comes out as, as, as good as GoX. And I said, oh, okay, glad to hear it. I said, you know, do you have any chronograph numbers? Yeah. And he goes, well, 
No, but I could tell by how it feels. Well, uh, okay. That, yeah. that's, 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 that's cool, but I hate to say it, but I really doubt it. Yeah. I, I really, really doubt uh, it. Uh, in this case, I would really, really Man. want you to make your own damn video. This stuff is... This stuff is clean, man. That is bitchin'. That is really that. bitchin'. That's five shots, yeah? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Bamboo can really do pretty well if you want to spend a lot of time milling it. Yeah. But man. So that went from, I would call it mediocre powder yeah. to basically just about it, on par. Yeah, not not quite as good as, as Buckthorn or Cottonelle. And I would say that's cleaner than Swiss. It is every bit as clean, if not cleaner. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'd have to shoot it more until I noticed it getting fouled up to kind of get a good test on it. But yeah. that is exceptionally clean. Which I, I had a lot of people tell me, too, um, that they tried bamboo and it was really dirty. Really? They said, yeah, they said it was really dirty. But I think... It might not be charring it good enough. No, I think it's probably a level of incorporation. Oh, yeah. Because if your stuff is not incorporated well, it's not going to burn as clean. Now, black powder doesn't really burn clean anyway. Yeah. Which I, you know, anytime I mention, oh, this stuff burns really clean, there's always some smart ass who goes, oh, it's black powder burning clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Compared to other black powders, it's yeah. very damn clean. Yeah. Wow, man. That's impressive. That, it, it's bitching. Now, whether or not you want to spend... Three, three times as long milling it. milling it, but this is something I, I I mentioned in that in the video we did the latest one on uh, making the best black powder in the universe or whatever. Mm. I, I I said in there that a lot of people seem to be critical of it. I says a lot of times the difference between Go X velocity and Swiss velocity is another twelve or twenty four hours, and people were oh, that's ridiculous. Well, bolt, because that's exactly what the the deal is here. Yeah. Wow. Let's try that in um. Let's try that in a pistol. Yeah, you got you got one of your. Uh, I do. You got I got the forty four navy. Bitchin. Wow, that 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 is impressive, man. That is really damn impressive. Wow. <laughs> All right, let me take a picture of that, John. We have a paper target up there. I'm going to take three or four shots at it just for sport, because. This powder performs really well. It's exceptionally clean. It's practically as fast as Swiss, and it's worth putting it on paper, at least I think so. I had a suggestion for that, and I think that's fair enough. A lot of people want to see me shoot paper, and most of the time we're making powder out of dirt clods, and it's just not worth the time or effort. But this stuff is. So this is the long mill bamboo. And we are, what, 35 yards? Yeah. 35 yards. So not an incredible distance, but I could still miss. Oh, my flint went flying, son of a bitch. All right, let's have a look. Look at that. Okay. There's that one at three o'clock I was talking about. All right, wow, so. Wow, you got a bullseye too. Yeah, I can shoot that thing okay if I say so myself. Yeah. So this is the 72 hour bamboo. That's offhand, 50 grains like I would at uh 35 yards pay no attention to that we checked it with the thing it's 35 yards so there you are okay so we've got our 44 navy loaded up with our long mill bamboo powder this is 25 grains with a round ball Eight forty-six. Nine oh nine. Eight eighty four. Eight fifty two. And eight fifty two again. Eight seventy. Man, Dude. I am so impressed how milling that stuff longer <laughs> turned that from 
mediocre. Big, mediocre to right up there with Swiss. Dang. That is fucking bitchin'. That's killer. Wow. That is killer. Bitchin'. Bitchin'. Wow. Now, I would have never imagined that that would pick up almost 200 feet per second compared to the last batch of bamboo. I'm sorry for saying wow 50,000 times. Wow. But we were really surprised. We were not expecting that in the slightest. So here's how it went with the Southern Mountain Rifle. We got an average of 1728 with a max spread of 30, delivering 849 feet per second. And when I upped it five grains to 55 grains, we got 1781, which is right where Swiss and Alder Buckthorn and I think the cotton were. Maybe the cotton was a little bit slower, so don't quote me on that part. But definitely the Alder Buckthorn and Swiss with 55 grains. Now, if you compare that to the last batch of bamboo, which averaged 1540 with a max spread of 28, that's, I'm going to round up 12 feet per second on average and call it 200 feet per second worth of increase, which is huge. That's, I, I'm still surprised. The only difference, again, was we milled it longer. We also tried it in the 44 Navy, as you saw, which ran 872 with a max spread of 63, delivering 238 foot-pounds of energy, which is only about 35, 40 feet per second slower than if you were using 25 grains of 3F Swiss, usually around 925-ish through that particular pistol. And it's super clean, exceptionally clean. I would say as clean as Swiss, if not a little cleaner. So for all the folks that continually tell me that you just don't need to mill your powder that long, you're not gonna gain anything, I would respectfully disagree entirely. Now, as far as if you want to mill your powder for an extra 48 hours, that's up to you. Personally, I don't wanna have to do that. But I think this shows, and this is one of the things my brother and I were, have been discussing over the last few days since we filmed that, is based on this, I think this shows that you can get better performance from a less than ideal charcoal by simply milling it longer. It's almost as good as Swiss. It's, it's certainly as clean, if not cleaner, and we're a little bit slower than Swiss by 50 feet per second on average. Also, you saw me shoot the paper target there. I hope you guys are happy with that. We're going to start doing that when we have powders that are at least comparable to GoX. Everyone always wants to see me shoot paper. I'm not really big on that, but I think it's worth it. And, and again, I had a suggestion to do this, and I, I think it's fair enough that we do it. When we have powder that is comparable to at least GoX, we'll put it on paper just to see how it goes. So let me know what you guys think about that as well. So again, there is no such thing as over milling your powder. It only gets better. So as usual, folks, if you thought this video didn't suck, do me a favor and hit the like button and consider subscribing. And if you did think it sucked, go make your own damn video.